Hi friends, welcome back to another video. Today is going to be a really quick guide to making blue food. As you probably know, I make a lot of blue food on my Instagram feed and I like to make smoothie bowls. Um, for a while I was really into making blue sushi and blue anything I could make. So I thought I would teach you guys how to make blue food using four different methods that I'm really fond of using because they're all natural. Um, I don't use any artificial colors in any of my cooking because I don't believe it's good for you and I also just think it's unnecessary when there are so many awesome ways you can get colors from plants. So I'm going to show you five ways or five products you can use to color your food blue in a very natural way. The first product I like to use is probably the most simple and easily accessible product and that is red cabbage. So red cabbage can be found anywhere. Sometimes it's called purple cabbage and it looks kind of red and purple which is why it's called red or purple cabbage. Um, so what's really really great about this cabbage is that when you cook it down in water you can either boil it or kind of put it in a pan with a little bit of water on the bottom is that it really releases a lot of its color. So it has a lot of strong pigment in its leaves and basically what you do is you kind of boil it or heat it down, break it down and soften it and then it releases this liquid and color and then that liquid you should strain the cabbage. You can still eat the cabbage but strain the liquid and then that is is kind of your natural food dye and then you can also change that color to become blue and the way you do that is by adding just the tiniest bit of baking soda so really only add as much as you need because you'll see that there's a chemical reaction that forms it may bubble just a slight bit and then it changes color to this really lovely blue now if you want to make it pink you can also add a touch of something acidic like lemon juice is a really good one and that'll just brighten it up into a pink so it's really versatile you can turn the red or purple cabbage into a pink you can leave it purple or you can turn it blue and also super affordable in comparison with some of the other options I'm going to walk you through later on in the video. The second method that I want to share with you is probably the easiest and requires the least effort. It is using blue spirulina. So blue spirulina is just like regular spirulina but it is another strain um, that is a little bit more blue in pigment and it has a really beautiful almost aqua and turquoise color. So you can get like a robin's egg blue, you can get a deep blue if you want, um, but it comes in powder form in a jar and all you need to do is add a little scoop of it to whatever it is you're cooking and you can use this for sweet or savory items. I use them a lot in my smoothie bowls but I've also used them in pancakes, um, stirred into yogurt, I've made rice with it. Um, the only thing I will say is it does have a little bit of a fishy flavor so you want to really be um, using a light hand <laughs> but honestly you don't need to use that much because the pigment is so so strong and vibrant on its own that you really only need to add a little bit to whatever the food is that you're turning blue I will say the price is a little higher I use the brand e3 live but honestly it's the highest quality spirulina that's out there and they do have some blue spirulina powders available but this is the highest quality that I have found and personally I use such a small amount and it gives me such a vibrant color and actually has good nutrients in it as well so if you didn't know spirulina is actually packed with nutrients and that's why it's a great superfood to use not only for the color but also for the nutritional benefits so the third one is using butterfly pea tea so butterfly pea is a flower it's blue in color and when you steep it as a dried flower it turns into a really beautiful and vibrant blue liquid so this is a really awesome way to just get blue right off the bat you don't have to add anything to it like you would with the cabbage to get that blue color and it's easily found in southeastern Asia so when I used to live in Thailand I found it all over the place it's grown sometimes in gardens um, there was a garden actually that grew it in the house that I was staying in the last time I was in Thailand and they use it a lot in dishes to make things like blue sticky rice um, blue lattes not lattes per se but blue drinks and things like that and just tea in general so it's a really really easy method um, very very mild flavor and it's so light that you can just use it and make a latte instantly by having the butterfly pea tea and then adding a little bit of almond milk or whatever you like to add to your coffee or whatever you like to add to your beverages so it's a really really easy way and it does have antioxidants I believe so it's awesome you can buy the leaves in bulk and I don't know if they're widely available in the US but I'll try to find some links and if I do I'll leave them below so if you're familiar with regular red goji berries there's actually a black variety and you can pick it up dried and then you can actually steep a tea out of it and because goji berries are so high in antioxidants it's actually an incredible tea for you to drink on its own but you can also use it to color your smoothie bowls and things like that it comes out like a really nice pigment liquid so similar to the butterfly pea all you need to do is really boil it or boil water sorry and steep the dried goji berries to create this liquid and it comes out as sort of like a bluey purpley hue and then you can also add lemon juice to it to make it pink so those are my personal favorite ways to make my food blue um, again I think it's 
really a great choice to use natural alternatives when you can versus using conventional food dyes and things like that because oftentimes they're not very good for you and sometimes they even contain things like crushed bugs to make the colors so um, yeah highly recommend going natural if you can and now that I've shared with you my favorite ways to do that I hope it inspires you to try some of them out um, and not only that but almost all the ingredients that I shared with you are actually very very rich in nutrients and antioxidants and so they're great to add to your diet anyway it's not just color for the sake of adding color if that makes sense um, in nature of course you can also eat blue foods like blue Adirondack potatoes blueberries blackberries things like that and foods that are darker and richer in color tend to be higher in nutrients and antioxidants and things like that for you anyway so it's always a good option to go for bright and colorful food and things like that so I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope you guys will try it out if you do let me know um, tag me on Instagram or send me a message showing me your blue creations I would love to see them and yeah thank you so much for watching